people in Europe, and some call him the father of secular Western you know, philosophy or secular Western world, really. He has a huge, major impact. And the reason is, is th this idea that I just explained. Because in Europe, prior to uh, Ibn Rushd or influence of the Muslims, they also they thought that uh, the only knowledge came from the Bible. That was it. There was no other knowledge. So when you say that, oh, well, there's truth, and you can get there from religious texts, but also your knowledge of the universe and hikmah and wisdom and so on, uh, that's a major difference or change. And it actually allowed some of these new, um, new scholars or in Europe to justify studying science. And they used uh, arguments of Ibn Rushd a lot. Like, uh, just to give you a bit of a, a historical linkage with all of this, remember that uh, when we covered Salah din with the first crusade, which was 1096, and I gave the example of Adelaid or Bath traveling at 1111 to the Muslim world, studying for seven years, which would be 1118. He comes back to Europe and starts translating these work, works into Latin. So let's say 1120. So by 1120s, uh, books of translations are coming into Europe for the first time. So before Ibn Rushd's works were translated, a lot of the scientific books were translated. So these European scholars now, scientists, are gaining knowledge other than the church, other than what Bible tells them. And it looks like this is better, like it's providing better truth and there's more wisdom in it. Uh, so that really challenges the authority of the church. And it's the beginning of, uh, I wouldn't say secularism, but beginning of the idea that you can challenge the authority of the church in just about, in politics, in knowledge and everything. And that, you know, centuries later produces what we call secular Western world. And the reason why, you can see the, uh, the trajectory of knowledge transmission as well, can't you? Uh, you've got, we're talking about Western Europe, we're not talking about Eastern Europe. A Western civilization is the Western Europe. You know, uh, you've got Italy, Spain, uh, Britain, and England, and to some extent Germany. Because everything came from Andalus, and also through Sicily, Italy as well. Those two paths were very important paths. Uh, and there's a lot of books written on how Islamic Islam and Islamic civilization influenced the Western world. And Averroes is a key figure in that.